section of the human anatomy series and today's topic of my discussion will be about the pharyngeal pouches so students the uh, derivatives of the pharyngeal pouches has been very frequently asked in the various competitive exams particularly in the neat pg entrance uh, neat pg entrance exams it has been a very favorite questions which is being asked over the years again and again so today's topic will be focusing upon the pharyngeal pouches so firstly looking at the pharyngeal pouches so pharyngeal pouches they are basically in the embryonic development it is in the embryonic development the pharyngeal pouches they form on the endodermal side between the pharyngeal arches so students do remember that it is in the embryonic development these pharyngeal pouches are formed and that too these pharyngeal pouches they are formed on the endodermal side between the pharyngeal arches so students here in this video i'll be basically focusing upon the tricks or the mnemonics as to how we can very easily remember about the different types of the pharyngeal pouches and the derivatives what are there from the each of the pouch in the form of a simple mnemonic or simple tricks i'll be discussing so the tricks what i'll be discussing over here it is uh, first of all um, beginning with the first pouch that is the first uh, the first pouches it is the first pouch and the derivatives from the first pouch can be better remembered if we just look at the mnemonic that is the pmt that is the pre medical test so students do remember the first pouch the mnemonic is the pre medical test or the pmt where every initial letter of the p m and t is going to refer to the one of the derivatives what is formed so the first is the the first p is going to refer to the pharyngo tympanic tube so students do remember the p of the pmt is going to refer to the pharyngo tympanic tube the m is going to refer to the middle ear cavity and the t is referring to the tympanic antrum so students do remember the first pouch the derivatives can be better remembered just by the mnemonic pmt where every alphabet of the p m and t is going to refer to the one of the derivatives moving on to the second pouch so second pouch it is referring to the the second pouch the derivatives what are there from the second pouch it is the tonsil and the tubo tympanic recess so students do remember the mnemonic or the short trick to memorize the second pouch it is the ttr students do remember the mnemonic of the second pouch is the ttr that is the t the first t it is going to refer to the tonsil and the next t and r it is the tubo tympanic recess that is the tubo tympanic recess this as this is derived from the second pouch moving on to the third pouch so the mnemonic or the short trick for this it is uh, that uh, uh the uh, the third pouch it is having the mnemonic that is the tip tip so students do remember that is the third pouch that is having it is uh, the third pouch the structures what are derived from the third pouch it is the thymus gland and the inferior parathyroid so students do remember the th uh, the third pouch it is the the uh, structures what are derived from the third pouch it is the thymus and the inferior parathyroids which are also called as the parathyroid 3 so students do remember it has been very frequently asked in the various pg entrance exams that the supi the parathyroid 3 or the inferior parathyroids they are derived from the which pouch so your answer comes to be the third pouch so students do remember that is the parathyroid 3 or the inferior parathyroids they are developed from the third pouch and the mnemonic or the short trick over here is the tip that is the tip the t is going to refer to the thymus gland and the ip it is the inferior parathyroids moving on to the next pouch that is the fourth pouch so the fourth pouch the only structure what is derived from the fourth pouch it is the superior parathyroid glands also called as the parathyroid 4 so students do remember the parathyroid 4 also called as the superior parathyroids 
so they are derived from the fourth pouch students do remember the inferior parathyroids they are derived from the third pouch whereas the superior parathyroid glands they are derived from the fourth pouch it becomes very com confusing do remember the inferiors they are from the three and the uh, superiors they are from the fourth pouch all right moving on to the next and the final the, that is the fifth pouch which is also called as the ultimobranchial pouch so students do remember the fifth pouch it is also called as the ultimobranchial pouch and the structure what is derived from the ultimobranchial pouch or the fifth pouch it is the parafollicular cells of the thyroid so students do remember it is the parafollicular cells of the thyroid gland which are responsible for the secretion of the calcitonin hormone they are derived from the fifth pouch or the ultimobranchial pouch so students this was a short discussion about the tricks and the mnemonics as to how we can very easily remember and recollect in the various competitive exams when it comes to the mcq's point of view so this was a short discussion about the pharyngeal pouches students if you do like my video don't forget to subscribe my channel and do press the bell icon so that you can be further updated for the upcoming videos thank you for watching